I'm Richard Claybaugh, and this is The Kinetic Image. Many people feel the circle of confusion is aptly named because it's not always very well understood. But here's a simplified explanation. Take any point of light from in front of the lens. Light from that point passes through the lens and is bent to a matching point behind the lens. That point of convergence where the beams come together and cross each other is called the focal point. When the focal point falls exactly on the focal plane, which is the flat surface behind the lens where the camera's film or light sensor is located, that subject is in sharp focus. Light from different distances in front of the lens comes to convergence at different distances behind the lens. When you're adjusting focus, what you're actually doing is changing the point behind the lens where light from different distances comes to convergence. Looking at this a little bit more three-dimensionally, you can see these lines actually define the edges of a cone of light. When the point of that cone is on the surface of the focal plane, it makes a dot that's as small as it can be. But watch what happens as we rack through the focus. The point of convergence moves off the focal plane and we see a larger slice of the cone. The dot grows into a circle, very much like the street lights are doing behind me right now. When you rack back the other direction, you pass through the focal point and now you're in the part of the cone where the light diverges. You get a circle again, and the whole thing looks on screen very much like what you're seeing happening behind me right now. The measurement of where a point of light grows to a circle you could actually see in the final image is called the circle of confusion. And it's actually measured in fractions of a millimeter on the surface of the target area. That number is what's used to calculate depth of field tables. Different media have different circles of confusion, and that's what defines what we call in or out of focus.